New documents show a local hospital failed multiple women after they complained about being sexually assaulted by an ER nurse. Well, tonight, one victim tells us she never even got a call back. Welcome to Queen 6 News at 530. Tonight, federal health authorities are threatening to withhold millions of dollars in funding from Legacy Emanuel Hospital. Cor Harlan is following this investigation tonight. Well, Dan and Jenny, attorneys for seven women who claim to have been sexually abused here in the Emanuel Hospital emergency room, say that the hospital did not act on complaints that they made and failed to properly investigate serious sex abuse claims about an ER nurse here. And one woman we talked with late this afternoon says that the hospital did not even return her calls about her complaint. She went to Legacy Emanuel for a cough back in 2009. She was in a back room in the emergency area when she says Nurse Jeffrey McAllister sexually abused her. When she called the hospital to complain, nobody called her back. It made me feel like, like a piece of meat, kind of, honestly. Um, it made me feel like I wasn't believed and gave me a lot of anxiety. She waited and she waited. No one ever called her back to verify her story, assess her credibility, nothing. There was simply no response from the respected Portland hospital she trusted. I felt like it was Legacy Emanuel, and I felt like since they probably didn't believe me anyways because I hadn't gotten a response back, that how do I fight them? And so I just gave up. Mark McDougal represents seven women who claim to have been sexually abused by McAllister during their stays at Legacy Emanuel. He says the hospital failed to detect a pattern of McAllister's illegal behavior that went on for years. And furthermore, he says the hospital went out of its way to deny the behavior. We've been doing sex abuse cases for a long time and we've called a lot of people out. This is the worst I have ever seen. A legacy spokesman turned down and offered to talk on camera with us about the allegations. He did tell me the Medicaid funding threat was not so much of a threat as it was an attention getter, a standard part of the investigation process to encourage prompt responsiveness from the hospital. He also passed along this statement concerning former nurse McAllister accused of the sex abuse. It says, with the benefit of 2020 hindsight, we truly wish we would have uncovered this conduct earlier. But at that time, we followed an investigation process that we believed was reasonable under the circumstances. Now, the criminal case against McAllister begins later this summer, perhaps early this fall. And after that, the civil case against the hospital could unfold, and that could potentially result in a big settlement against the hospital if it goes forward successfully. Live here in North Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Also tonight